What's up, D Buzz? What's up, D Buzz? What's up, everybody? What's up, YouTube world? What's up, YouTube trolls? What's up, YouTube fam? What's up? It's Happy Wednesday. It's Wednesday. It's Real Talk Wednesday. Girl, we about to sip some tea and talk a little gossip, okay? Even though I've already sipped the tea, okay? Hello. Listen, let me tell y'all. I have had a long day, like definitely a very long day. Um, you know when you just feel like you've set the clock early enough to where you'll be prepared, and but you still end up running late? Like, I'm one of those people who will set out their clothes the night before. Even though I don't have a job physically outside of my home, I still need my clothes to be ready in the morning because I do bring my grandsons to school. You know, I have my grandson that I have custody of that lives here, and he's in the first grade. That's Tinky. Then I also have my grandson, JJ, who's eight, who lives about, I want to say, depending on traffic, could be a seven, I'd say like a good 10 minute drive from here. And they go to the same school together. So I want to be out the door by a certain time. So that way they're not running late. They may have a few minutes to talk and gather with their friends. That's just me. Okay. So I like for everything to be prepared. Like when I wake up in the morning, I want to brush my teeth. I want to wash my face. You know, I want to do all of that stuff. I want to brush my hair. I want to put my little cheap lashes on from the Dollar Tree, okay? And I just want to be out the door in a timely manner. I don't want to be looking for clothes. So I do set my clothes out the night before. And like for the past three weeks, a month, I have been going to the gym every morning. So my, my wardrobe is not that fancy. It consists of gym clothing. Girl, listen, let me tell you something. If I wasn't going to the gym, it still would consist of gym clothing. Okay, because I put on some workout shorts and a t-shirt every day. Because where am I going? Like, who am I to impress? I just want to be on time for everything. And every time I want to be on time for some shit, I never am on fucking time. Today just seemed like it was going to be a great day. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was fall break all last week. So, you know, I didn't have to get up early and bring nobody to school. I didn't, you know what I'm saying? I didn't have to go pick up nobody from school. It was like an easy week. But, you know, even though I didn't have those responsibilities, I still do like to get up early because I like to do certain things. So, like... I still was waking up at like 7.30 going to the gym. Girl, it just was like a long day today. Like I went to work out and I didn't get to even work out for that long because I had to do something for my daughter Tati. I had to get help her get her car back for the impound. It just was too much for me. Today just ended up being too much. And after this video is over, I'm taking my ass to the Dollar Tree. I know y'all like, bitch, what? Like, you act like you really going somewhere. Yes, I'm going to the motherfucking Dollar Tree after I'm done with this video because... Look, I don't know about Dollar Tree in y'all states, but in this state, we have Nick's stuff at the Dollar Tree. I'm not, like, a huge fan of, the like, certain stuff, but if you like Nick's, they have that there. They have Maybelline Foundation, and they had the Nick's Corrector Concealer Palette. They had those. Their butt's so big. You're like, yay big. They had some NYX Buttercream Lip Gloss. I think it's Lip Gloss. It's called. I do remember Buttercream. I've seen the Maybelline, um foundation which i've actually purchased from target on clearance they have like a quite quite a few things so i'm gonna go and check it out and i really just want to relax i have a video already edited for tomorrow so i'm not really too concerned about that but it's just been a long day okay it's been a super duper long day so i needed to have me a drink i got me some captain morgan this is their fruity drinks it's not the uh long well they do also have the long island iced tea one by captain morgan it's a tropical fruity blend there's three different flavors and the alcohol um volume in this one is 13 percent and the long island iced tea one it's 17 percent and then the other one is 17 percent. so this one is 13 percent so long day nothing really much to say so yeah just like a really long day um other than that this week has been super easy um my grandson turned one on the 7th of october so we had like this cute little party for him they just like really grow up so quick like he looks so much like my daughter-in-law but he turned one on thursday so we had a party here my daughter-in-law's mother is here visiting from new york which was really nice i'm so happy to see mercedes we're really good friends so she's here 
and she made some of her delicious rice and beans oh my god and chicken we had such a nice little party with all of us i used to feel like the kids were making me feel like damn y'all are aging me because when i had one grandson it was like okay two years later i had a second grandson and so i settled in with that but then it was like three and four i'm like oh god damn they like really aged me it just seemed like they just kept coming like really really quick but i will say this being a grandmother is like the best thing ever like serious i like love it you get to send them home they don't have to be with you except for tinky he lives with me but in general you know you get to love on them so it's amazing being a grandmother but other than that you know we're gonna jump right into this video um real talk wednesday you already know the routine if you got a real talk that you want me to read on camera out loud then go ahead and send me an email to muffin is my lover 2012 at gmail.com you can also use april's real talk at gmail.com please put in the subject line real talk and if you want to change the name of the characters the people you're talking about even yourself then please let me know, like April, hey, I changed to Tina. If you don't do that, guess what, girl? I'm still going to change the name. So let's step into this real talk real quick. Let's go. I know it's been a while. Haven't talked since July. You've been on my mind. Don't hang up. I know it's been some time. Since I called you mine You've been on my mind Don't hang up Maybe I'm a little bit jealous Haven't told my friends we ended it Yeah, I know that it's wrong Maybe it's a little bit selfish Calling you up when I'm wasted When I know that you moved on Is she in your arms right now? She gonna stay the night Tell me is she in your arms right now? Is she in your arms tonight? Like I used to be We've been through I give my all to you Just tell me what to do Don't give up on me yet Baby, I'm a little bit jealous Haven't told my friends we ended it Yeah, I know that it's wrong It's wrong, it's Maybe it's a little bit selfish Calling you up when I'm wasted When I know that you moved on Is she in your arms? all right you guys hello miss april first i want to say i love you girl you are like an auntie to me who i watch and wish i can hang with in person well today i have a problem and you can call me peaches i am currently pregnant do 12 25 which is christmas y'all and i'm scared i live alone for now and financially take care of myself i have a fiance who proposed and he's super happy and we are living together next month this will be both of our first here's the scary part i haven't told my family i'm pregnant i feel they are going to be disappointed in me I am 24 years old and petrified to even bring it up. My dad is abusive and vulgar, so I know his reaction towards me is going to be nasty. 
and my mom I know would be scared and worried straight. Plus, my baby shower is next Saturday, October 16th. I planned on it to be small, but my fiance's sister invited almost 100 people. I told her I was only inviting up to 14 max because I don't want it to be too big plus COVID. Some of those people are traveling from out of state. I feel this is too much and I don't want to do the baby shower anymore. Now I see she posted on Facebook the baby shower info and saying inbox me if you want to come. I'm sitting here confused like um, shouldn't I be asked first and who are all these people? I told her, hey, this is a lot of people and I only invited a small amount because I want it small and intimate. She replied, more people equals more gifts. One of the people commented on her post, should I bring bottles? I'm like, oh hell nah, plus we are having a baby shower in a church. I am stressed and confused and don't know what to do. Even my fiance was confused because he thought it would be small, but he said it would all turn out fine. Miss April, I have severe anxiety. I can't be around too many people and trying to keep up with everybody and make conversation, especially if 75 of them I don't know. I also find it weird. Some of her friends who comment is going and they don't even know us. Why would you go to a baby shower to someone you don't know? COVID been stressing me out. Hint, why I work at home and half of these people are traveling by plane or driving from ATL to Minnesota. Please, Miss April, help me. I feel my family and friends, 14 people, would feel some type of way if they see all of his people and so little of mine. Honestly, I don't feel it's fair. Why should, what should I do? I want to play sick that day and tell him go without me. But I don't know if that's the right way to do it. Please, w right way to do it with some uh, with laughing emojis. Please help, love, peace. Okay, first of all, listen. Let me tell y'all this. I'm I'm a very introverted person. I don't really even like being around a whole bunch of people in general. Like I don't like big crowds. I don't like standing up in front of people and, and talking too much. I don't like big parties. I, I don't know. I don't like like the club scenery. I don't like being around a lot of people. I, I mainly keep to myself and I'm fine with that. So I can kind of relate to how she's feeling, even though this is not what she's saying, but I can understand. So her baby, Peach's baby is due on Christmas. Okay. Christmas baby. But she's scared. Like, first of all, her family doesn't even know she's pregnant. She got a nasty, vulgar, violent father. And a mama who's just scared in general, probably because her daddy is violent. First of all, sweetheart, you're 24 years old, Peaches. You don't need to explain to anybody that you're having a baby. You're a grown-ass woman who you live on your own. Why would you care if your parents got angry? First of all, if your father even dares to put arms on you or get up in your face, it's what we call law enforcement. Okay. We can always call 911 and have law enforcement come. Second of all, you a grown ass woman who's holding her own. Why would you care about what anybody else thinks or feels about you when you're holding your own and you're a grown ass woman who's taking care of yourself and not leaning on anybody else and freeloading? Girl, please stop worrying about what everybody else is worried about stop worrying about what everybody thinks stop worrying about what everybody feels this is now peach's world and she's about to bring a baby into this world who cares what their sarcasm their nasty comments or anything else has to say about you your fiance and your baby on the way okay and i mean this sincerely because i hate when women who are pregnant end up having a miserable pregnancy like you pregnant who the fuck are you or anybody else to try to ruin something for someone who's having a baby like seriously i don't really feel like pregnant women should be in any way shape or form stress the fuck out be nasty to be talked to rudely like as a pregnant woman you should have a stress free life okay because you are bearing you are holding life and why stress somebody else that's pregnant like that's so unfair to them like so why give two fucks about what anybody else think about you i get it that's your mother and father be respectable to thy parents but if they're not respectable to you then that's when you need to keep a distance and do your own thing and take care of yourself i didn't say part ways i said keep a distance do your own thing and take care of your motherfucking self okay and not worry about what tom dick harry sally mary and lakeisha got to say or any other family member for that part 
okay? So congratulations, Peaches, on your soon-to-be baby, okay? Now, as for the baby shower, girl, listen, that's a whole lot of motherfuckers. And as an introverted person, I like shit small, too. I like being around my immediate family. Like, I'm not about to invite the whole motherfucking block for Christmas and Thanksgiving dinner. Like, we're not about to do that. Like, I'm trying to sit here and figure out how I'm about to give out this trick-or-treat candy that I spent over $60 on for these kids. Like, I forgot that it was COVID when I was buying this candy because I like to make everybody happy. Now, I'm sitting here for days like, damn. I ain't about to put a big bowl and bucket out there because these little motherfuckers, they will snatch up all my goddamn candy and then I'm about to go on a block looking for them. Like, what you got in your motherfucking bag? Let me check your bag. Let me see if that's my candy. That's the type of shit I'm going to do. have to do. So I can't leave a bowl out there. So then I'm like, hmm, maybe I'll just wear a mask and some plastic gloves and just hand it out like that. But masks don't really secure you from COVID. So I don't, I, you know, like, should I just tell them, don't pass that line and I'm going to toss it to you? This is me. I'm, I'm thinking about shit like this right now while you sitting here thinking about this goddamn baby shower that's about to take off on the 16th with over 100 people. Honey, listen, you're right. It is COVID. And with all those people coming to your place of celebration off of planes, trains, buses, car driving, bicycles, however the fuck they got there. Girl, honey, child, that's a lot of exposure to a whole lot of the elements that I wouldn't even want to deal with. Okay, not to mention, even if it wasn't COVID. Bitch, I don't know you. Why is you here at my baby shower? Like, I really can't even fathom the thought of having, like, a whole mess load of people somewhere for me that don't even know me. Like, what do you say when, of course you're going to say thank you. Thank you for bringing me the gift. But your emotions, can you really express them to someone that you don't even know? Like, honestly, I'm not really too sure by the time this video goes up if it's too late. But, girlfriend, I am on agreement with you when you said play sick for that day. Because before I even read the bottom, I was starting to think like, yo, bitch, you better act like you ain't even available that day. Like, that's what I started thinking. And honestly, I would. Like, I know that's probably like in bad taste. And some people are going to be like, oh, that's not right. But what's not right is his sister, her sister, excuse me, her sister-in-law, her fiance's sister, took it upon herself to invite all these people that Peaches didn't even know without even her permission. When Peaches only wanted like a handful or two handfuls of people. She said 14 people. That's like a handful and a half of people. Maybe it might have turned out as 20 people or two handfuls, but that's still, 20 people is enough. Over 100 people, listen, let me tell you something. If I don't know you, bitch, I'm not flying out. I'm not driving out. I'm not bicycling out. Bitch, I'm not walking, jogging, running, walking backwards, moonwalking, flying the fuck out to bring you a gift if I don't even know you to somebody's baby shower. Well, I think that's kind of weird, but is it because people don't really get out much? So it's like, well, any opportunity to party, I'm going to do because they're talking about bringing bottles. Are they really talking about bringing alcoholic bottles to a church? baby shower or are they talking about like baby bottles because you know how like they have those those baby shower games and some of them might entail like actual baby bottles like i don't know i can't say if it's alcoholic bottles look girl i don't even know but that's a lot of people and just because his sister it's to me it felt like a violation of her privacy like that's a lot of people to invite and like and with, if, without her permission, that's definitely a violation. And me personally, if it were me, if it were me, girl, if that shit were me and somebody did that shit to me, I wouldn't even fucking show up. Straight up, I wouldn't show up. Straight up. I, because I know me and I have a nasty attitude, so I wouldn't even show up. I, I'm not saying that I wouldn't do, I would do a no call, no show. Like, meaning I wouldn't show up, I wouldn't call. I don't know what I would do, but I know I wouldn't show the fuck up. And I might just do a no call, no show, like, but I would go somewhere. Like, I, me personally, a bitch is going to check herself into a hotel, like, the day prior so that nobody knows about except for my media family. I'm going to check into a hotel so that way nobody knows where the fuck to find me. I'm going to cut my phone off the day before so that, or not even the day before, but the day of or whatever, whenever. It doesn't even matter. I'm cutting the shit the fuck off. I'm turning it off or it's going to ring, bitch, but it's just going to keep ringing and eventually you'll get the voicemail. That's what I'll do because I don't want to make it seem like something is like drastic. So I'll just let it keep ringing. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to answer. Straight up. 
Or, you know what, I'll answer you, I'll text you up until the day, up until hours of. And then when the time comes, a bitch won't show up. And then when you see me, you'll be like, what happened? And I'll just let you know. Because I'm pretty sure you said, did she, did Peaches say, did you say anything? Now I see the post, now I see she posts on Facebook, the baby shower info and say, inbox me if you want to come. I'm sitting here confused, like, um, shouldn't I be asked first? And who are all these people? I told her, I told her, hey, this is a lot of people and I only invited a small amount because I wanted small and intimate. She replied, more people, more presence. Okay. First of all, let me just say this. More people, more presence. Yeah, more people, more motherfucking money to spend on food so these motherfuckers can eat. More people means more drama and chaos. More people means more motherfucking COVID spread. More people means more of a motherfucking headache. Can, do I need to go on? First of all, Peaches, you've already told her, hey, that's a lot of people. I wanted it to be small and intimate. Okay, you already stated this. And what did she say? More people, more presence. So therefore, that means that homegirl is all in it for the gifts. And she ain't even the bitch that's having a baby. Your sister alone ain't even the one having a baby. And she's doing this for the gifts. That's greed. And when a person is greedy like that, and anything that you want to put greed into the the pot with it, the shit ain't going to turn out great. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you coming into it with a greedy mindset, a negative mindset, because that's negative. Being greedy and worrying about gifts and shit, that's being greedy. That's negative. That's a sin. You know what I'm saying? So when you put sin into some shit, it's not going to turn out great. So nine times out of ten, what I would do is I would stay my ass at home, at my own house, at a hotel, at a friend's house, at a family's house. Either way, me personally, I wouldn't go to the baby shower because you already mentioned to her that it was too many people. You already told her that you wanted it to be small and intimate. And what did she say in return? The more, the merrier, the better, the more the gifts. What makes you think that the more people that come to the baby shower are going to bring gifts? Because I have been to quite a few baby showers in my time. Okay, even my own son's um, three baby showers. And bitch, let me tell you something. These motherfuckers don't come with gifts. Not all these people come with gifts. These be some cheap ass motherfuckers that come to the baby shower. And you be like, oh. Can you put that chicken wing back, please? I don't touch those motherfucking celery sticks over there. B Bridge, you, you want a bottle of water? What? So just because you invite all those people don't mean that they're going to bring gifts. And the more people you invite, if you're giving food, is the more food you have to spend. My shit will be bring your own bag, bitch, okay? Bring your own bag, bitch. B, B, B y'all gonna probably be like that's not right you should say something but she didn't already say something and why would you have to keep saying something that's her baby shower how you gonna take over the lead role person of baby show baby shower coordinator so her sister law then took over the lead role of baby shower coordinator and she invited all these out-of-towners okay when COVID is running rapid Peaches and already told her that she wanted it small and intimate and it was too many people. She's not even asked permission. Sorry about that, my camera battery died. So since Peaches' sister-in-law is the one who's coordinating this, even though she hasn't got permission, even though she's not asking Peaches what her thoughts are, even though Peaches is telling her like, hey, chill out, chill the fuck out. I don't want all these people. She's still inviting people. So you know what, since you're so amused and since you're so into inviting folks, how about you have the shower by yourself? Bitch, enjoy the wine, the bottles, the food, the gathering, because I'm gonna stay my ass at home. If this party's starting to feel like it's for your sister-in-law and not you, because she's invited people that she knows, not people that you know. Sometimes we gotta do what's best for us. Honey girl, child, honey boo boo. We have to do what's best for us. And what's best for you right now is a safe environment, okay? A germ free environment. And you're pregnant, your baby's due in December. Why would you want to be exposed to people that you are unfamiliar with? You don't know their lifestyle. You don't know what they do on a daily basis, which means you don't know if they are exposed to COVID. And why would you want to put your unborn baby at risk? I'm pretty sure that she might get mad and maybe some of the party goers may get mad. I'm not really sure because if they talking about bringing bottles for themselves, I'm pretty sure they ain't worried about if you come or not. They probably still gonna get their drink on, okay? Get their drink on. But me personally, I wouldn't even go. You done made this party about your own self and whoever else. And at this part in the game, it's really risky out there. 
COVID is running rapid. We don't even know if that shit is for real or for fake. There's all these, all these different variants. And like, that's not fair to expose you and your unborn. And if you've already said something about it, then nine times out of 10, this party is for your sister-in-law. At this point, I wouldn't even give a fuck if you knew I was home and got my feet up sitting there watching TV and not even being concerned about the baby shower and you came knock on the door, I'd answer and I would tell you, I'm not going and I'm not going for these reasons. And bitch, if you don't like me no more, so what? Goodbye. Bye, Felicia, because after you go to that baby shower, I don't want you around me anyway because God knows you got COVID anyway, being around hundreds of people. Girl, bye. That'd be me. I'm an introvert person, so I don't like all those people around. But I also don't like disrespect. And to me, this whole baby shower ordeal seemed like a form of disrespect. You're going to go ahead and invite a whole bunch of out-of-towners. Girl, bye. Yes. Peaches, enjoy your baby shower with your family. You can go ahead and have it at the hotel room. Go ahead and rent a little hotel room. Or go to one of your family's house and have a nice little baby shower for yourself. And don't even tell nobody else about it but your family and those who you wanted to invite. And say, screw the one that's about to... That ain't even a baby shower no more. That's like a fucking party. They, they about to have a house housewarming, okay? Yes. But let me just know what you think about her situation. Me, I'm not going. Straight up. I'm staying home. And I already done told you. So you enjoy. Enjoy the party. How do you have all those people at a church? Ooh, the reverend gonna be like, yes, we got all these people in the house. It's time to pray. He's gonna speak the word of God because you got like a full house with all those people. Yeah, girl, it's about to be church on the 16th. But anyway, let me just know what you think. I'm about to go to the Dollar Tree. I love you all. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs the video up. And on that note, I'll see y'all in the next.